you know, a little bit of like a Gordon Gecko moment of greed is good from the movie Wall Street. It was like, and now for something completely different. Okay, this is a, um, believe it or not, this is take two of doing this entire video. Why is it take two? Because <clears throat> I had an audio fail on the, uh, the one I did yesterday or last night. This is about the decline of rock and how I witnessed an event that I think I saw, for me, I saw one of the beginning moments, if not the seminal moment where I think that rock started its sl slow decline, which turned in, into a sudden decline. And I don't think rock is dead, but I think it's it's plateaued. So take it back. There was an uh, I was at the Hit Factory in New York City as I was a staff engineer there, and I was doing a session. I, I think I was like just chilling around outside just taking a break and this one guy that was working there said to me he's like yeah i'm doing this event upstairs in studio one do you want to come check it out studio one was the big orchestra room there was always you know there was if there was something interesting going on i didn't have anything to do at the time i would pop into other studios and so i went up there and this thing was it's like 75 by 75 and 30 feet high looks like a basketball court to some people and in there was set up rows and rows of chairs with um, a bunch of people sitting in and the back wall was a projection screen and of course there was a podium sitting there so i was like you know what, what's what's this all about the kid said it's something for um Universal Records is doing like a thing with their uh, record buyers all the record buyers <clears throat> excuse me so this was like 1996, I'm guessing, or late 95, early, I think it was early 96 or somewhere in that ballpark. It was set up for Doug Morris, who was the president of Universal Records at the time, to do a presentation on the new releases coming up that he would expect, as I learned, that he would expect all of these buyers to be putting in their orders for. So he gets up there at the podium, you know, the golf clap and all that. Like, okay, this is Doug Morris. And how's everybody doing? And I guess all the record stores that were there were like Tower Records, HMV, maybe even Borders and uh, Barnes and Nobles, like all the big ones. This is when physical product was the only thing. So he, get, he proceeds to start talking about the upcoming releases and he plays a video by no doubt don't speak you know and they play the whole video this is when music videos were still a big thing also and they play the whole video and he's like you know this is this is going to be a very important record um we expect big things their previous record did such and such and now this is the next step blah 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 Everybody claps. He went on to do another one for Counting Crows. And that one was Long December, I believe. For some reason, I remember it being Mr. Jones, but I don't think that doesn't work out, Thomas. Maybe he played, I think he may have played a little bit of the Mr. Jones video to sort of refresh everybody on who Mr. Crows, uh, Counting Crows were. <laughs> And then he played uh, Long December, which is a beautiful tune, too. And he's, you know, he went through the same thing about it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Uh, they're touring. They're, you know, we have a lot of plans for this record. There was a couple of others in there. And I will tell you this, that it was a, it was a good insight into how the industry works, or at least worked then, that these records were not accidentally huge every one of the records that he played went on to be 
uh, let's just say gigantic. I mean, Don't Speak was was a massive hit. Long December, big hit. There were several others, um, and they were all. There was another female artist. Might have been that. That uh, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. That one. So uh, then he goes, okay, and now for something completely different. So I have. There's a little bit of a clue behind me, um, and I didn't plan that little that move. But anyway, uh, he says, I don't know how to describe this. I think the music. And the visuals will speak for itself. I present to you the new song by Marilyn Manson, The Beautiful People. And he proceeds to play this thing. And they had the speak they had big speakers set up in the room and they cranked it up for this. And for the next four minutes and change, that video played, which was shockingly enough for me. Uh, I found out it was directed by a, a woman. I thought it was, I thought that would be impossible. I thought it was Mark Romanek, and then I thought maybe it was Samuel Bear, but it turns out to be this woman uh, from Italy, or she's an Italian woman. Uh, you know, if you've seen the video, it's over the top. It's at the top of shock value, um, extreme everything, extreme editing, extreme visual shock horror controversial you know there's some definitely like fascist looking things going on there there's demonic looking shit going on in there everything um he plays that thing and then the music was a whole another level of just sonic smash i mean that's the only way i can describe it it was just it was just hitting you in the face the entire time and it's a catchy song the video ended and everyone clapped but was like what the hell did we just see what did we just witness and to me i think i could kind of point to that er area right there as being where the the bell curve was for rock we had just come out of the death of uh kurt cobain and the demise of nirvana and we had been building up to this Marilyn Manson, the beautiful people thing. And I think from there forward, I don't know that there were, there's been, there was anywhere to go with sonics, visuals, you know, if rock and roll was ever shocking and controversial, this, this took it to such a level that it, there was nowhere to go, but to begin the, the, the gradual decline and the, and the decline is kind of I've read recently like there's these things where these phenomenon where um, phenomena where the the decline is gradual and then sudden and that definitely happened to rock because there was a gradual descent that I think has sort of come in for a landing at this point now you know it was slow then it was Boom, what what happened to rock and uh you can't really tell me right now that rock is going anywhere near where it'll where it was at that point or say like from in those 1980 to 19 to 1995 um may have been the last spike it's the uh, it brings up that quote from seneca Every new beginning is some other beginning's end. I know it's a semi-sonic lyric too, but he took it from there. That's what I think is is what started it. I think it was that, and for me, it was that moment. I, I still remember this convention thing with Doug Morris up there with sort of like, you know, a little bit of like a Gordon Gecko moment of greed is good from the movie Wall Street. It was like, and now for something completely different.